Have you ever heard about the game called Vimage Drive? If no, what is this? Drive is a very famous in later game about racing, cars, and even more than that. Some car manufacturers use this simulator as a tester for their safety systems and cars. So, what is so unique about BeamNG that makes it stand out not only from all car simulators, but from all computer games in general? It's the physics of salt bodies. So today we are going to talk about what salt body physics is and how it works in BeamNG Drive. So what are soft bodies? These are the objects that interact with the environment. In this game our soft bodies are cars. The physics of their destruction is unique and has gained popularity all over the world. So why don't other games have such genius physics? So the first point I want to tell you is why other racing games can't crush cars at all. So, you know such cool racing games as Assetto Corsa and Forza Horizon. But in them the car does not crash as nice as in BMG Drive. Why is it? Well, I think it happened because Forza Horizon and Assetto Corsa use real car models from real car manufacturers. And before they can be used in the game, they have to sign a very important contract with the manufacturer, in which one of the main details is that the car in the game cannot crash at all. Because car manufacturers believe that this will have a bad impact on the reputation of the company. Therefore, if a game wants to crash cars, like GTA 5 or BMG, they have to make replicas of real cars, which also similar to real cars, but still have some differences. Well, now we understand why cars crash better in some games and worse in others. Now let's see how exactly the physics of soft bodies works in BeamNG. The very principle of BeamNG's operation is apparent from its name, G-Beam. G-Beam is a unique soft body physics technology. In order to understand how G-Beam works, first of all, let's understand how car models appear in the game. First, a 3D model of car is made. It's like image, is what we see in the game, the car body itself. Then shaders and textures are applied on this 3D model, thereby making the car the way we see it in the game. That is, for example, its mirrors, color, glass, beautiful shiny bumpers, and so on. The problem is that when a 3D model is created and added to the game, it does not yet have its own physical account. Games do not work like that. If something in the game is visible for you, it is not at all a fact that the game itself sees it. In order for it to know what to interact with, it needs a physical account of the body. For this purpose, a physical model is created for the 3D model. We will call it a hitbox for now. Usually a hitbox is a very simplified model of the 3D car model itself, which is tied to the corresponding verticals of the 3D model and the 3D model follows it everywhere. For example, here is a player's view in CS2 and on the right is a hitbox, that is, the body itself that will interact with the environment. By the way, there was a problem with this in CS2, when the appearance of the hitbox does not match with the appearance of the model itself. And there were consequences. By the way, both visual and physical car models can be seen in BeamNG. To see the visual model, you need to go to the graphic settings, Scroll to the very bottom and turn on this display mode. And to see the physical model, you need to press this key combination. And there is a lot of them. So, we found out that the game has a model that we see in the game and also has a slightly simplified physical model that has its own physics and interacts with the environment, 
thereby affecting the visual model. So, what is unique about BeamNG physics? Well, the answer is simple. The unique technology of so-called hitbox or physical model. And here is where the most interesting things begin. Unlike conventional physical models, the BeamNG physical model is divided into a bunch of small triangles that have their own sides and verticals. These verticals are called nodes, and the sides of the triangles are called beams. That's actually what we see when we press this key combination. Let's first understand what nodes, beams and triangles are and what role they play. Nodes point with mass that can change depending on gravity and they also set the strength of the car. Beams It's connections between two nodes. They don't have any mass, but we can modify a lot of parameters such as beam strength, how strong they are, beam resistance, resistance until they break, and a lot more. Collision triangles It's a connection between three nodes. They have no mass, but play two very important roles. The first is that they are used to detect collisions, and the second is that they define the aerodynamics of the car. All these elements work together. When an object gets closer to our car and crashes into it, triangles record this collision, then it is calculated how this collision affects the nodes, and depending on parameters of the nodes, for example their mass, the physical model is moved and deformed. And the visual model is always tied to the physical model and completely copies all the deformations that the physical model has received. Also, different elements in the car have their own parameters, for example, windows, they are set using beams, in which the corresponding beam resistance value is set, and if the collision exceeds this value, then the beams of the windows break and we see a broken window. So, if you look at this in more detail, here is a specific example. Something crashed into our car, caused simultaneous deformations of the physical model, and the visual model repeated these deformations. Simply speaking, nodes are responsible for the nice deformation in the car. By the way, here is how they look on the 3D model, they are just points. And the more of these points there are on the model, the better the deformation of the body will be. But if there are too many of them, then any accident will be accompanied by a very large number of calculations, and the frames per second in the game will be greatly reduced. Beams are responsible for the object's resistance to certain brakes, that is, if we have broken windows or a wheel comes off the car, it is thanks to the beams. And the triangles and their corresponding parameters are responsible for the aerodynamics of the car. And also, of course, triangles are used to detect the collisions. Well, this is a general structure of salt body physics in BeamEdge Drive. This topic can be dealt into even more, and in future, if you like this video, I can tell you how nodes and beams are set in the car models, as well as what types of settings and parameters exist for them depending on what function beams and nodes should perform. And that's basically it. I thank you very much for watching and ask you to like this video, because I worked very hard on it. Also, you can subscribe to the channel, because we have a lot more interesting content ahead. And if you have any questions or ideas for the next videos, write in the comments, I always read them and answer them. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.